next is Robert Queen. Board members, I received a letter from you dated February 18th denying my request to be put on the agenda for tonight's meeting. You indicated that the school system does not have the resources to answer my questions because doing so would pull the staff away from the students. Secondly, you stated that the board was not legally obligated to answer any questions other than requests for public records. And lastly, you said that the school system was not in any way attempting to keep its fiscal operations secret because records are available in the public, financial audits are available online, and the board meetings are open to the public. I have a response ready for your three reasons, but I think the words of two elementary school teachers express the point better than I can. Yesterday, my wife asked two teacher friends why they didn't attend board meetings. One of the teachers said that it was very apparent, to the, very apparent that the administration and board did not want to hear from them, so they just didn't go to the trouble of attending. The second teacher The second teacher sent a text that I'm quoting from. He said, quote, lots of money is wasted tied up and it's completely hidden. Walked in the beautiful newly redone county office and checked out all the new furniture, new flooring and new computers, two to three for all. Then come to my room with buildings growing on the ceiling and computers from 2002 and chairs and desks from when I went to school there in 83. That's sad, but at least the county office staff is not. That's the end of There's an old saying in the military circles that the truth is first and often to be last. That apparently doesn't hold true in the school system. There's absolutely no excuse for students to be in the room to hold the bill to you while money is continuously being spent on this bill. Whether you guys want to admit it or not, you have an image problem with the teachers, parents, and taxpayers of Clayton County. Maybe not all, but certainly a significant percentage. That's why I submitted questions to you to give you an opportunity to explain yourself. For whatever reason, you refuse to respond with anything other than copying documents. You should understand that your refusal to answer does not make the questions of those asking go away. It only adds to their resolve. Let it be known that you were given ample opportunity to answer legitimate questions about the operations and expenditures of the board and school system and expect to be here in court. And I'm requesting that a copy of my remarks be added uh, to the board now. 